everyone and welcome to our decorating for Christmas vlog. Oh, I'm so excited that the day is finally here and we have decided to decorate. It's the end of November and I didn't want to decorate too early because I do feel like I look forward to that festive magic and this is our first Christmas in our first home with our first dog so it's a pretty special one. We have never decorated a full house before. I have lived with Benji before in a bungalow. I've also lived in a flat and neither place had the space for a full size Christmas tree so this is a very exciting day. I just cannot believe it. We actually bought our Christmas tree from a company called I think it's Balsam Hill from memory. Uh, anything that I sort of find or show or I have links to I'll leave below for you. But I'm also really excited to share that this video is very kindly sponsored by Big Potato Games. And a lot of you know by now if you watch my channel regularly uh, that I'm a brand ambassador for Big Potato. I have been working with them for many years and I absolutely love them. And if you're new here and you don't know them, you don't know me, hello, welcome, please subscribe if you are not already. But Big Potato sell games and Christmas to me is all about sort of getting together, being with your friends and family and playing games but I totally understand that that might not be possible for everyone this year but I still think games are such an amazing thing to have in the house for gifts and even if there's just two of you at home I'm going to show you a couple of mine and Benji's favourite two player games as well but we've actually already started our Christmas uh, gifts actually in fact we're pretty much done I think we are done uh, and I'm going to actually wrap some stuff today as well so I wanted to show you a few of the things I've been buying where should I start? I'll start with this little hamper actually this was one of the first things that I sort of put together because Benji has un an auntie and uncle and then two little cousins who are, I think they're seven and nine or eight and ten now, but they are at that age where I struggle to buy for them because I don't really know exactly what's the right sort of gift for their age, but they love games and as a family they spend lots of time playing games and doing things together, so I thought it'd be really nice to do a little hamper. I bought this basket from home bargains. I do actually have an Ikea one as well. And then I've just filled it with some games. I am actually going to wrap them all as well, I think, because it'll just be nicer for the girls to sort of unwrap them. But as you can see, they're all big potato ones. So just to whiz through, we've got OK Play, which is a great sort of stacking game. And it's great for travels as well. Um, and you basically have to get five colours in a row. So we really love that. The next game I got for them is Dino Dump, which if you're an OG here, you'll know is one of mine and Benji's favourite games ever. We have played this hundreds of times. We've played it on trains, planes. We've taken it on our staycation this summer and played it. We love it. It's such a great game. It's a card game and it is designed for children aged six plus, but it's two to four players and it's just a really good, good little game. So that would make a great little stocking filler as well. So I love that. I also got them the Muddles, which again is designed for children age six plus, but also two to four player game. And it's a really lovely, easy little card game where you basically have to sort of match up the animals. Um, it makes more sense when you play it. And then I also got them Disney Colour Brain, which is such a great game. Uh, you have to basically um, answer the questions with your colour cards. So for example, the Incredibles suit, what colour are they? And then you have to choose from your hand. So that's for the girls. And then I also bought four copies of P for Pizza, as you can see. If you watched our video in the summer, you would have seen Benji and I play this already, but P for Pizza is the easy cheesy letter game. This is such a great gift and you can play it two players, two to four players, age eight plus. It's got a plastic free box, a little sticker on there. And essentially think of a word that connects the letter to the category and then you shout it out before anyone else and then you can win your pizza slice. So love that. There are actually some Christmas themed games. There's Santa Banta Christmas Edition and Don't Get Got Christmas Edition as well, which I think a lot of you might like for Christmas gifts. I'll get them out later and show you those, but all be linked below. And then the last game I wanted to show you before I go and decorate Revenge is um, Top of the Pops. I just think this is a classic. If you grew up with Top of the Pops, you will love this. It's a party game. I actually got to play this months and months and months and months ago with the team at Big Potato before um, the lockdown. So I've actually had this for so long but um i'm actually going to gift this to my friends gary and dean because they love music and movies so they would also really like blockbuster which is another great game they sell but um to the pops you basically have one of these little kazoos and you have to sort of hum out the tunes loads of sort of different 
uh, things you can do around the board and it helps you take a trip down memory lane um, with Top of the Pops in a box. So yeah, 200 artists to win and collect, age 14 plus on that one. And it's got like a buzzer and everything. It's a great game, great, great, great game for Christmas. So if you are interested in checking out any of the games for yourself to play or for gifts for friends and family, they would make such lovely gifts. Although I am wondering how I'm going to wrap a triangle shaped box, but I'm excited to give them to my friends. So I do actually have a discount code, Brogan20, that gets you 20% off all their games on their website up until the end of the year. So now is the perfect time to get those in. Lots of their games are super popular and they sell out really fast. So go and check them out now. Let's get decorating for Christmas and then we'll wrap some of these things later. I don't even know where to start. Maybe the tree? <laughs> We have to go and see Benj and Bonnie that are downstairs in the kitchen. He's just finished his breakfast. Go and see them and decide where we're going to put the tree. It's 12 o'clock on the dot on a Sunday. I'm in my jeans and a top at the moment because I have just walked Bonnie and popped to Tesco. But we're in for the rest of the afternoon now and I'm excited to make it all magical. Let's go. Hi darling. She's got her favourite toy. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that this is Gingy, her little gingerbread man that she has taken quite the liking to. But whilst I was just filming that bit for you, Benj has tidied up and made me a coffee. So we've got the fuel we need to get started. Got a coffee. Oh, that's really nice. Is it? Yeah. Phew. Phew. <laughs> Are you excited about decorating today? Yes, yeah, so, so excited. So excited. So we should firstly start by saying, we don't have a lot of space in the lounge. Maybe we should just quickly tidy up in there. Yeah. Show them the lounge. And why are the trees not going to go in there? It's because I think small. most people will too small, save your effort. There you go. <laughs> I want to show them though. I think we'll go for that corner down there because yeah. there's quite a lot of space there. Oh, but yes. we don't know how even big this tree is. We bought it in the January sale and we haven't even I looked it. the other day. We bought it for what, 260 Yeah. And then it was on up for sale for five something. Something, yeah, 530 something, wasn't it? Yeah, we bought it half price. Okay, so here is the lounge and it's lovely and cozy and snug we love it a lot but because we got a bay window we don't really have corners no and so. we have the dog bed down there and bonnie's not moving for no man she is not no and i don't blame her um so we do have that bean bag there so but we I could think it, i think it'll protrude out too much into, into the sofa. the sofa i agree so i think what we'll do then is we'll go up in the loft, conscious that Benji actually hurt his shoulder about a month ago now, yeah. but it's still healing and he's been in a sling. It's what, that annoying stage where I can use it, but, but when I do, I'm just in pain for hours afterwards. So and not any heavy lifting, so we're I just going to be... be like, that's like fine. That. If you go up in the loft, you I can pass things down. down to me and I'll take the weight of them. So we'll go and get the tree, the Christmas boxes, we've got bedding to put on. Let's go then. Let's it's going to go in the kitchen, I think. Go. I actually did a whole um, Christmas haul, homeware haul, so if you missed that, I'll leave that linked. And I shared all of the Christmassy bits that I've been buying for our house. I have just put this little garland that I got from Amazon on the top of the bed. And it does light up. I need to get some batteries later. Could change that, maybe. Okay, right. I'm just gonna move this ladder back a bit. I'm just gonna let it slide out of my hands. Oh. Yeah. Mama toes. <laughs> oh, here's the tree. Oh, get some baubles. That's the bedding, yeah. Yeah, this one's really delicate. Yeah, I forgot we had this. I can't believe we're doing this. That's it. Have you got the Mickey statue? Oh look, there's Santa Banta. On the top there. Amongst all the Christmas stuff. Great game. Great game. Have you ever played a Barma Llama? That's very good. Oh, I'm coming. Oh yeah, that's my old tree. Ah. We'll find a home for it. I could easily spend all day doing show and tell with you with all the Christmas stuff we own. But I think what I'll do is we'll take it downstairs. We'll lay out Christmas decorations on the table. And then some of these boxes, like that one's got bedding, so that will stay up here. That's the tree that I've always had since I lived in my flat. So for the last three or four years, I've only been able to have this one. I've become quite attached to it. Like it was super cheap and <laughs> it's worked so well over the last few years. So... That's that, and then this box has got miscellaneous Christmas things. Like I said, Santa Banta's in here. We've got a garland in here. 
I've got um, Disney stuff, Christmas cards. God knows what's in there. Fun Christmassy things. Oh, look, a Christmas pyjama top. Oh, I get so excited at this part, don't you, Benj? Like seeing what we've got. No? No. <laughs> this is the tree. These are our new um, Christmas baubles. So, not long ago, Brogan said that she had found an amazing Christmas decoration for the tree to remind us. Obviously, we normally go skiing, so we wanted a little nod to skiing. And so they arrive. <laughs> They're massive, aren't it's they? It's as big as the bloody tree itself. I didn't expect mm. them to be that big. Aren't so, they great, though? They're lovely. Lovelier if they were like a tenth of the size. Ten pound? Ten pound, ten pound. But yeah, to be fair, that's actually a bargain for ten pounds. That's what I thought. For the size of it. So we'll pop that up in the hallway or something like that, but it cracked me up. Right, so we're about to open the tree for the first time. So before we begin, we need to look the part. Are you ready? Yeah. Yay! <laughs> she looks so cute. You probably got to say she camouflaged. We're wearing matching PJs for this. I didn't think it would be that couple, but apparently we are now. Can I get in the frame, Shavon? Well. So this is our bauble ornament selection. It is quite mismatched, I'm not gonna lie to you. So we've got this main pack, there's 50 in here. We've got the pine cones and we've got those little ones that are Disney. These are all the Disney ornaments. So we've got some really cute ones. I mean, look, they're so lovely. We've bought some in Florida in Walt Disney World. That one we bought back from Florida, didn't we? Mm. Uh, this one's really pretty, hold on, look. Make you mini kiss in. And then we I have. I love these ones. Yeah, they're really nice. I really like them ones. My friend Shannon has a business called Hamilton Crafts and she makes lovely baubles and decorations. And she made us this one recently. And it says, First Christmas as a family of three. Aww. It's really sweet. Um, what else have we got in here? These ones are from skiing trips from our last Christmases. And I started putting the dates on the back. And I think I need to go back because that one hasn't got one. I don't think Teens has either, Teen. So we need to put the dates on. So that will be the first, yes, 2017, Was that the first right? Christmas? 2017, 2018. First, second, third, and this is the fourth. So as we've never decorated a tree before. Speak for yourself. Well, not together we it's haven't. Together. These are the first, this is all we have. We may need to get some more. What, more? I just think the that's not gonna be enough. Over. There's no way we can hang all of this stuff. <laughs> You're joking, yes we are, 100%. Okay, maybe not all of it. Most of it's going up. <laughs> I think we should start with these next ones. Oh, these are plain, you see. No, these are quite plain. I think we scatter these around. No, I want to do them last so I can prominently put them at the front of the tree. These and the pine cones and then those. Are we are putting pine cones on the tree. We are putting pine cones on the tree. Benj, just please get on board. First one, yeah? Yeah. Not there. What thing up there? Wow. <laughs> right, so. Hurry, hurry. Mama's looking worried. Will the pie be ready in time? Papa's out getting a tree while my sister and me are writing verses and rhymes. I can't believe we're nearly there. It's really come together considering it's a mishmash of different 
baubles and ornaments from years and years of just stuff that we've been collecting and it's so unique to us there's so many like special memories on there isn't there yeah i really love it this is what we've chosen for the top of the tree little tink and it lights up you ready then to put it on the top yeah <laughs> So we were very kindly sent some decorations last year from a company called We Are Christmas. And it looks like we've got a big garland, which could go up the stairs. Okay, so we have two wreaths. This one that was given to us, it's very nice. You just cut the table, label out. I think that'll look nice on the front door. On and the then, front door. Yeah, or at least the inside door. Okay, we've decided on this wreath here. We just need to fan it out because some of the lights are sort of hidden. Can you see? Okay, so we've got the Christmas bedding on. It's not overly festive, but I just really like how subtle it is. Little reindeers and trees. And then we've changed the shelf. So we've got a print that says the most wonderful time of the year that I did have in the spare room, but we thought it looked quite nice up there with the little trees. And then the garland. And I think I might try and get a Christmassy pillow to replace that dream one. So it's now four o'clock and we have been doing all of this decorating for four hours and haven't stopped yet. So Ben just gone to take Bonnie for her second walk of the day. We'll feed her her dinner. And then I also wanna wrap some presents tonight because I'm in the spirit and I feel like it'll be really nice to get some things wrapped and put under the tree and then it will all tie it in. I do actually have bedding for the other bed in here, but I might do that tomorrow. Yeah, I think we, we've done quite a lot today. The garland looks so nice up the stairs and the reef on the front door. And then there's just mess everywhere. We didn't end up finding a place for the Mickey reef. I think we're just gonna leave it off. We have also decorated the TV stand. Obviously our TV's now on the wall, it's underneath the projector. We were given this by a family member last Christmas and we just thought we'd pop it there. And then my mum gave me this garland a few years ago. And then we just got a couple of bits and bobs really. Um, that I've <laughs> sort of displayed out. I'm not gonna have too many Christmassy things in here, but I do actually have some Merry Christmas bunting. So I might try and get that out of the packaging, but look at the mess in this kitchen. Mmm, I absolutely love the tree though. I love it so much. It looks so good. I mean, obviously ignore all this. I love it, but I think it will look even better once I've wrapped some presents and put them around the corner. It's so crazy because I dreamt of this moment, this day, for so long. Like, I envisioned this when we saw the house, and then a year later we're here, and it just makes me so happy, and I'm so grateful to have such a lovely home. Benji and Bonnie in my life, my other family, and... I just, I just love it. I just love it. Right, let's see if we can get this bunting because it's somewhere in here. Yeah, see if we can pop this up. This was given to us from Hobbycraft. So I'm gonna see what this looks like. Maybe, if it will work. Okay, so I've had to put the bunting in the window for now because the string isn't long enough to go on the hooks that I already have up there and in that corner. So what I'll do is I'll just get some really long string and I'll redo it at some point so that it'll read across the back like I've done with Halloween and birthday and stuff. And then I've started bringing those gifts down. So I'm gonna wrap those. I also brought down this lovely fluffy Christmassy blanket. I don't have any Christmas pillows for the sofa. Okay, so this is the spare room. 
and I've just been running up and down the stairs. But I've put out my little tree in here with all the reject uh, ornaments that never made it to the big tree. So I think that looks really cute in here. You can see the little Santa down there and there's a little bee. I love it. So that is that. Whew, I'm worn out. Okay, so we've got M&S Prosecco. No idea what it tastes like, but it's in a gold bottle, so it's got me nice, right? <laughs> you picked up because it's in a gold bottle. Yes. Cheers to us and our first Christmas together here. Okay, so we're eating our dinner on the sofa tonight because we're going to watch Jingle Jangle on Netflix. But I've got campfire stew, which doesn't look very appealing, but I've been defrosting this all day. Um, so it's been so nice not to have to have cooked. Just got my leftovers. And then Benji's got leftover soup. I have had such a nice day decorating. It's been so good. I'm not being funny. This looks absolutely amazing. Holiday home makeover. I want to watch this. <laughs> We're gonna watch the first episode of this because it looks so good. Like what better thing to watch when we've just decorated than to watch how other people decorate. And then Bonnie's asleep. Oh, look, Aww. Aww. Oh, he looks like the goodest boy. The goodest boy. I've set myself up to do a little bit of wrapping. Are you pleased that you don't have to do any wrapping? I am ecstatic that I don't have to do any wrapping. Right, press play please. I'm wrapping another pea for pizza and I thought I was nailing it that it was looking so good and then I could just got a bit sure do you think they'll notice uh, I didn't notice you had to properly point it out to me when you um when you were showing me oh my goodness it's just so close but not quite it'll be right it'll be all right I don't want to waste the wrapping paper so we're just gonna have to hopefully not notice and they have a nice matching bag Okay, I've just wrapped the final pea for pizza and I think I've got it now. It took four attempts, but basically you just need sort of a rectangle shape and then it's just a case of sort of folding it in on itself until it sort of covers the whole thing. But I think I've done it. But what I was just thinking is I have gifted Big Potato Games to friends in previous years, but the good thing about pea for pizza is that I know it's brand new. So I know that most of them won't have it i've got a lot of couple friends so they can play it as a two or if they have another couple over for like a dinner or whatever yeah. then you can play it's up to four players so this pea for pizza is actually going to a friend that i won't be able to see in person so i'll be posting that one and i've got a box of nice chocolates in there as well for them so i've just found a little box that works Can you see the sweat on my face? <laughs> oh, you wow. Play. You need a shower. I need a shower so bad. We've I wrapped. We finally finished wrapping the presents. Thankfully, we? Bro Sorry. Brogan helped me out and I'm really appreciative of Benjamin that. Lever, I wrapped every single present. It took me two and a half hours. My back is absolutely killing me, but they're all wrapped. They're done. We're and done. also, it sort of helped that problem we, we need, had yeah we don't need, a little <laughs> we don't need anything thing. under the tree now because we have all the gifts there for a minute 
Um, obviously, some of them will have to go in the post. Some of them will probably end up being put at people's doorsteps. Yeah. But they're all done. Done it. We've Literally. Got, I think we've got all of our presents done apart from my dad and maybe one for mum. The tree looks amazing. Oh, I said, look. Ah. It's so nice. I still want to put Christmas bedding on the uh, on the spare so bed. Good. Oh look, we moved the little tree out. Where is it? Tree. Over there, in the corner. But yeah, it looks amazing, doesn't it? Love it. <laughs> night night. Today has been so successful. I'm so happy. It's been such an amazing day. We didn't manage to finish Jingle Jangle. We actually started 10 minutes of it and then I couldn't like concentrate on it while I was rapping. So we'll have to watch that another day. But if you are interested and you wanna check out Big Potato Games, then my discount Brogan20 gets you 20% off on their website, bigpotato.com. And that's valid on all their games. So definitely go check them out. There is something for everyone on there. And I really love recommending them. So if you do need any help and and you, I get a lot of DMs asking for recommendations. So if you do need any help, leave them in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to help you because I have quite good knowledge of all the games now. So thank you, Big Potato, for sponsoring this. Thank you guys for watching. I can't wait to spend Christmas here in our house. It feels so magical and lovely now. And yeah, I'll be back again very soon with more vlogs. So thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>